hey what's up youtube so it is the end of week 13 i'm sorry about the lighting it is like kind of raining outside but whatever you know it is what it is okay so midterm week is over i got a hundred percent on my dosage calculation quiz um for pharmacology that's done over with um i got a b on health assessment 2 exam um and I failed my first test, y'all, and it is what it is. I got a 65 on my message, um exam, and honestly, the reason being for that was because I didn't get a chance to study. Um, I found out that if I don't freaking pay the rest of my tuition off um, before the end of this term, then... I can't start next term. They're going to kick my ass out. So I've been like trying to run around and, you know, get some money and, you know, got to gotta make this money the best way to know how. You feel me? You feel me? But I ain't going to get into that with y'all. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. But I'm not really tripping on that because we need a 75 average on all of our tests um, together. Cumulative average of 75. And my since my last test score was so high this one brought it down a little bit but I'm not like failing or anything I'm still averaging like 80 something in the class so if I do well on the final then you know I'll be good but um yeah this week other than the test and me trying to get this money um uh, <laughs> we did a simulation in the lab today we had like a COPD respiratory distress patient and we were all assigned roles and I was assigned to be the secondary nurse and we did really really well actually like I'm so proud of my group our clinical group was split into two sets and I was assigned to be the secondary nurse so um yeah it went real smooth for the most part some we had a little couple hiccups with it but it was very very small very minor but other than that everybody did their thing shout out to the group shout out to the crew um and also, yeah, just to, you know, toot my own horn a little bit. Uh, one of the monitors, she had, like, kind of called me out a little bit. She was just like, oh, my God, you did such an amazing job with ministry, the medication, the IV. Like, she didn't stop me asking me any questions because I verbalized everything. Did it perfectly, you know, you know. <laughs> she was like, I don't know if I should give credit to you or your teacher. Like, that. <laughs> you can give me that credit. I did it, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was um, really, really fun. And I'm glad we got through it. But other than that, we just now are preparing for ATIs, which is... Uh, it's nerve-wracking. But, you know, we're going to get through it. I believe in everybody, and we're going to pass them. We have our farm um ATI Monday and then we have our fundamentals one on Wednesday so wish me luck I'm trying to pass it the first time around and uh yeah I will see you guys next week bye the end of week 14 at least I think it is because I'm starting to lose count um of these weeks but yeah I think it's in the for week 14 so this week marks the end of two things for us which it was our ATI week and our um, the end of our clinical rotation for med surge sorry I was a little stuck right there but um yeah the picture of our clinical group is up on my YouTube not in my YouTube my uh Instagram page dope chicks d-o-p-e-c-h-i-x go check it out while you're there don't forget to follow me mm -hmm. okay so um I learned so much this clinical rotation I learned how to document you know I learned about different medications what they're there for different I've seen like, different surgeries um, I was able to give injections hang IVs you know uh, do all the, the IV medications um, do like NG2 medications like it was a lot that I learned and I really took away from this term that just made me feel more confident as a nurse I still need to work on my S part report like I'm just so everywhere with that <clears throat> but um you know practice makes perfect that's just something I need to work on but um other than that uh yeah it was it was annoying to have to get up at five o'clock in the morning make sure we got there on time and some days dragged some days were really busy um but other than that i really really love it i had fun can't wait to the next clinical well i can wait but you know you know you just can't wait to get it over with but um 
Yeah, so ATI week, let's talk about it. So we took two ATIs, we took our farm ATI, and we took our fundamentals ATI. First of all, what I have to say about the farm ATI is the fuck? <laughs> like, why? Why? Like, why do we have to know all of this? Like, in nursing school, the, the first thing they start to tell you is, don't memorize everything. You know, it'll come to you. You'll, you'll, it'll get familiar and blah, blah, blah. But this class is basic, straight up memory. Like, of course, you're going to remember stuff. But all of these meds, it don't make no sense. It's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah. Let me show you guys what the the ATI book look like for farm this is how thick it is and it's 70 questions but you're only getting scored off of 60 of them so 60 questions out of this whole damn book and it was like three math problems in there but I'm, I'm sitting here complaining but I passed y'all hey girl mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah you definitely have to read all the questions come directly from the book there's no way of really getting around it you just have to read um all of this it's an easy read it's just a lot of memory because you see the pages aren't really bad they just it's a lot to remember especially when you're already taking classes I mean tests for your other classes and blah 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 but whatever pharmacology ATI is over with and I passed it so I don't have to take it again boom done there you go um fundamentals bam same size book different color easy read has questions in the back all the same format, 70 questions, 60 are accounted for. Boom, pass that. Hey, now, girl. Passed my ATIs on the first try, so I went and got treated myself to getting my eyebrows done. What y'all think? Um, you know, I'm just tired of walking around looking like Bushman the third. But um, <laughs> uh, that was my incentive for myself. I just let my eyebrows grow out, and I told myself, if you don't pass these ATIs, you gonna walk around looking like Bushman the third, and I didn't want that, so you know, when I got my eyebrows done, my phone going off over there. Somebody missed me, but anyway, um, yeah, so I passed my ATIs, and now I'm getting ready to um take my our finals exams and our final um assessment, which I'll go over with you guys next week. Like this right here, I just want to show you guys. These are all of my notes for pharmacology class. Well, pretty much, some of them are for another class, but for the most part. All of these are pharmacology, and not to mention they are front and back. Front and back. <laughs> so I have to get all of this knowledge down by over the weekend, and it's Friday now, and I think our finals on Monday. So it's going to be a long weekend, y'all. But I will see y'all next week. I will let y'all know how it goes, as always. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Okay, so this is my last little update for this month. And it is the end of the term. We on vacation for two whole weeks. Hey. <laughs> okay. So, um, first of all, I hope you guys enjoyed the special update. Shout out to everybody that participated or didn't participate or want to participate next time or whatever, whatever. It was really fun to give you guys a, a look inside of the people that I have to deal with. Mm -hmm. nah. <laughs> Everybody's pretty cool. We have fun. Uh, we turn up, you know, whatever. Um, but anywho, let's get into this update. I don't want to make it too long. So pharmacology final, I got a C on that. Um, overall in the class, I was very victorious. Got a B. Hey, shout out to you, girl. Um, yeah, pharmacology pass with a B. I was just looking to pass, but to pass with a B is pretty awesome. Um, so that's done over with by by pharmacology. Uh, 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 uh. Um, adult health one slash med surge. I uh got a I think I got an A on that test. Uh, you know I told you I failed the last one, so I had to turn up on this one. And um, overall in the class I got a B, so I'm really really excited about that. Two Bs. Here we go and health assessment two i rushed through that test i got a c and overall in the class i got a b i rushed through my test because i was not prepared for the um the health assessment physical lab thing we had to do and basically what we had to do was go to each station like we did last time and assess something different and this time we did the abdomen 
the cranial nerves and the muscular skeletal system like all the reflexes so basically the instructors would tell us like from this rubric they'll pick a certain num amount of things that we would have to demonstrate so I was like super unprepared like I had just started looking over it the night before when I was at work and I didn't even get through the whole thing I ran through it a couple times with my buddies at school boom and then killed it got only one point off one and I was not prepared so I was really really happy about that so um yeah that goes toward my health assessment to grade but I have a B in that class so so far I set the bar pretty high I did better than last term last term I got two B's and a C this term I got three B's so you know hopefully this success will continue on into the other terms Ugh. but problem still wasn't able to pay off my tuition so they said that they were going to drop my classes yeah so I have to come up with this money like the rest of it I've been paying on it it's just hard you know not making that much money right now and then having to pay rent and everything because I live by myself I do everything by myself I don't get help from anybody so it's just been really really tough and I, I don't want it to be a situation where I get kicked out of school because I'm I can't pay you know because if I get kicked out of school I want it to be because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do and I'm slacking and I'm failing my classes and I'm failing my ATS I don't want it to be because I can't afford to pay so during this two week break I definitely will be like trying to sign up for scholarships get some extra money going or whatever whatever but you know if you guys don't see another update from me it's because I couldn't start next term and that would be just fucking heartbreaking that would set me back I wouldn't even be able to graduate next year if I um, couldn't start next term so you guys pray for me pray that I can come up with this money some type of way and um, yeah like I don't want to leave this video on a bad note but it is what it is you know that's the situation at hand and I'm just praying that something uh, comes up um, that I can pay this tuition off so anyway, um, I will see you guys in the next video update. Hopefully it'll be soon and not like months down the line because I can't start. But I have faith that everything will work out fine. So uh, see you guys. Bye.